Caribou are valued by Northerners as a very important part of their culture and a part of the land. We know from traditional knowledge that barren ground caribou populations have gone through big changes over time. For the last 50 years, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources has been tracking those changes together with our co-management partners. Knowing how caribou are doing today helps us manage the herds for tomorrow. The caribou post-calving photographic survey is one of two main methods used to count migratory caribou in North America. In the NWT, this survey is used to count the Blue Nose West, Cape Bathurst, and Tuktoyuktuk Peninsula caribou herds. It is also used in Alaska and Quebec and Labrador. The best time to do this survey is on a hot, calm day in early to mid-July, when mosquitoes, black flies, and warble flies are most active. Caribou gather on their post-calving grounds in large groups to avoid being bitten by insects. The first step in the survey is to locate the caribou. We do this by using a small survey plane and signals from satellite callers. Callers like this are fitted on a few caribou from each herd. They allow us to track the herd's movements remotely through the year. The callers have two transmitters. One sends the precise location of the collared animal to a satellite once a day. These tell us where to look on the land and help us plan our flights. The other sends a short range radio signal that allows us to track the animal's movements in real time, but only when we get close. Starting to pick up air on the left. Or, yeah. The survey plane has antennas that intercept the unique radio signal for each caller and allows us to home in on the precise locations of the collared caribou. Most of the flying is to find large groups of caribou with one or more callers, but we also look for other smaller groups that do not have callers. We fly over each group of caribou while they are gathered together and take high resolution photographs. All the photos of all the groups must be taken within a few days. Otherwise, the caribou may move or form different groups, and we risk counting them twice. When we are back on the ground, the photos are viewed on a computer, and the caribou in each photo are counted. At least two observers count each photo separately. Then, we add all the caribou counted on all the photos and use statistics to account for any caribou that may have been missed. This gives us a population estimate for the entire herd. We use this survey to calculate population estimates for our barren ground caribou herds every few years. But they are not the only way we can tell how caribou are doing. On the ground observations by hunters provide good information about caribou health and local abundance. During the survey, we also record wind and temperature and take notes on any other animals we see, including predators. Once complete, we present the results to our co-management partners and traditional and local knowledge holders. The results are then shared with the public and used in discussions about how to manage the herds. Let's work together so our children and grandchildren can continue to enjoy caribou roaming on a healthy land. For more on how we count caribou, including a video on our other main survey method, the Calving Ground Photographic Survey, visit our website, enr.gov.nt.ca.